Like rugby league was forced on me as a kid, so. What do you mean? Uh, just you know, like I, I didn't really want to play league as a or, or footy as a kid. Mm. You know, my parents sort of forced me into it because you know I'm Polynesian and you know that's what we do. Just I'm um, here to prove all my doubt is wrong, all my hate is wrong. You know, they're all trying to tell me what to do. All the people in the media are trying to tell me what to do. I do what I want to do. I'm my own boss. That's why I left. I'm sick of taking orders off halfbacks and coaches. I do what I want to do. You know, all of us big boys, you know, we know footy. We know. Hold on. This hit here, yeah, there, I think he's, he's stunned him. He's not putting any hands up. Good. Knock out win, knock out ball. That's a big left hand. That's a big left hand. He's done. He's done. He's done. He's done. That's a massive up there. Yeah. We you know, get to this point, get to that point. Why are you trying to tell us what to do? We'll do what we want to do. On the eve of his fight against Frank Amato, the former Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs star Pangai Jr. fired off at those who criticised his decision to leave the NRL in 2023. Pangai Jr. shocked the NRL world when he revealed he would walk away from rugby league to try his hand at boxing. In doing so, he left a lucrative $750,000 a year deal with the Canterbury Bulldogs in the process, after a brief spell with Penrith came to an end. The move came just over two months after he had made a state of origin debut for New South Wales. I knew I'd drop below my standard and uh, as an NRL player and um, you know I couldn't live with myself if I was you know to go out again next season. Did you lose your passion for rugby league? Yeah, I think I have. You know, I helped Penrith with their run to a grand final. I played Origin and you know now I want to try my hand in boxing and if my heart's not in it. Then you know this the level of NRL. It, at the top level, it's too hard to be 50-50. He was adamant that he was done with the NRL and would not entertain a return. But the 28-year-old began angling for a return to rugby league in March this year while playing under ex-NRL star Carmichael Hunt at South Logan Magpies. After just three post-retirement bouts, two wins and a loss, the former New South Wales representative has returned to footy. In March, before his fight against Rafael Sau, he wished he could walk back some of his subsequent trash talking after admitting to a fake bad boy act. I love my boxing and I've said some things in the past. People don't understand the business of boxing, Pangai Jr. said. We're not on a set salary where you get hundreds of thousands of dollars. Boxers, we get paid by bums on seats and pay per view and it's show business, it's entertainment. So I was painted as a bad boy in the NRL and obviously that sells in boxing. But at the end of the day, that wasn't me. I'm not Anthony Mundine and I'm not Paul Gallen, so I'm just going to be myself and I'm a good guy that's made mistakes. I'm going to continue to make mistakes, but I'm a family man and I love my boxing and I love my rugby league. Pangai Jr. said the change of tack to a more chilled out approach had been made after some reflection and speaking with his team. I obviously wanted to come into boxing and make some noise and try to sell the fight for the promoters who are putting in the hard work, he explained. But at the end of the day, it doesn't sit well with me and it's not me. I'm not a bad boy. People are real these days and they can see someone that's being fake. And it's not me. Fighting in the main event at the Brisbane Boxing Showcase in May 2024, he was dropped by his opponent Kenny Nico, who had three losses from three fights in just 69 seconds. The commentators themselves had no idea who Nico was. Kenny Nico, do you know much about Kenny Copes? Mate, um, nothing to be honest. I had a quick look at his record. Knockout win, knockout loss. Oh, that's a big left hand. That's a well, huge left hand. Better drop. He's done. He's done. He's yeah. done. That's a massive upset. Yeah. It was reported last month Pangai had held informal talks with Brisbane and Melbourne. But on Friday, 7th of June 2024, Pangai signed a short term deal to join the Dolphins under Wayne Bennett, the coach who handed him his NRL debut at the Broncos in 2016. Orders of halfbacks and coaches. I'll do what I want to do. Mate, I'm already telling him what to do, and he hasn't even been at training. <laughs> nah, nah, honestly. Um, yeah, knowing Wayne, he'll, he'll make sure that Tavita comes in not only fit to play, but um, he'll make sure that his, his role is, is understood really well. I am really looking forward to Tavita getting back on the field, and I'm so glad it is with the Dolphins, said Bennett. He is a good player that I have always enjoyed coaching, and I think he will be a strong addition to our squad. Pangai played his best football under Bennett. When he was a youngster at Canberra and yet to play NRL, he got Bennett's number and called him looking for an opportunity. His career took off thereafter. In my final year under Wayne in 2018, I had my breakout season. Pangai said in May 2024, Wayne is like my boxing trainer, Chris McCullen. He just cares for me on a personal level. He is the master. I loved playing under Wayne and I had the chance to follow him to South Sydney in 2019. 
I said no, and sometimes I look back and feel as though I should have. Wayne understands me and knows how to get the best out of me. I would love to play under him again. Pangai's wish has now been granted. The five-time Tongan international will beef up a Dolphins forward pack, missing star players Tom Gilbert and Tom Flegler to injury. Capable of playing either on an edge or through the middle, Pangai had been one of the NRL's most damaging forwards on his day, making a total of 138 first-grade appearances across stints with the Broncos, Penrith and Bulldogs. Pangai played 96 games for Brisbane before leaving to join the Bulldogs. This signing is a big thing. Tevita can help us out and we can help him out, Dolphins boss Terry Reader said after the signing was announced on Friday. He's back in the window, hopefully doing a good job, and there will then be interest to sign him. I am excited about being back in the NRL again and re-establishing myself as a full-time NRL player, as well as being part of what the Dolphins could do this season. Pangai has mentioned, it's unclear whether Bennett will attempt to lure Pangai to South Sydney with him next season. 